MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Chicago Cubs and the Washington Nationals. Stay tuned for Nationals Baseball next. Steven Strasburg is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Nationals. What's your take on him, Dan? Steven Strasburg has been good since he put on a uniform. The pride and joy of San Diego State University. The closest thing we've seen to Nolan Ryan. Mid to upper 90s fastball. Great changeup. Great curveball. And great slider. Very, very rarely you see off the a guy have a four-pitch mix that's as the good as Steven Strasburg's. Now at the plate, Chris Run. Bryant. He will lead this one off today. Here comes the first pitch. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. First pitch, 106. The 1 0. Two balls, no pitch. That's ball three. Hey, I know it's early on in the game, but when the third pitch like that is called for a ball, it looks like that tight zone is going to be awfully small today. And that one misses as well. So it's a poor start here this afternoon as it's a four-pitch walk to get things going. And with the bases empty, you don't feel bad about walking that guy. He's capable of taking you deep every time he digs in. So it's not the worst thing in the world to work around him if you can. And that'll bring Anthony Rizzo to the...
We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Milwaukee Brewers. Digging in, Victor Robles. He'll get us started in this one under the Leading lights. Off tonight for Pittsburgh, the center fielder, Victor Robles. He's ready. Here's the first offering. There's a fastball right down Broadway taken for a strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Lifted in the air out to center field. Long run for the center fielder. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Got a second. Up next for the, the Buccos, Michael Brantley. He'll get to take Michael his first cuts here. Brantley. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Ball, that's it. Now the 1-0. Soft liner to the left side and in the left field for a one out hit. That in third, the designated hitter. And that'll Miguel. bring up Miguel Andujar. Andujar. So look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0 and 1. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Gallo is there. Two gone. So it's a runner at first with two gone. That and that'll bring up Bryce Harper. Bryce Harper. On the stretch. Brentley leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Harper behind with an 0 and 2 count now. Look at the radar gun on that slider. Off speed pitch, 91 miles an hour. That's just pure filth. Fouled off. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. And he goes up the ladder on him, but he lays off one and two. Pretty standard fastball right there, 0 and 2. Now he's changed the eye. There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no doubt home run. Here's Carlos Correa now. That'll fit. The short As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Correa. And it's quickly 0-2. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Hey, that's not an easy pitch to hold your swing up. I know it looked like it was way out there. Looking at a fastball to end the inning. And that brings in the power hitting shortstop Trevor Story. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. That's shortstop Trevor Story. pitch oh had him chopping at that one it's nothing in one oh, 
Oh, and it looks like a visit to the video room may be in order after that hack. It's 0-2 now. Real ugly 0-1 swing there. As a pitcher, you've got to be hunting for the strikeout knowing you have this guy way off balance. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's 1-2. and two. Interesting sequence of pitches right there. A real ugly swing on a ball away, and it looks like the batter has a much better idea of what he's looking for after that second pitch. Boy, good cutting action Batting to that second. pitch as that's the, the first catcher. out of the inning. Jake T. Real Muto. Here it comes. JT Real Muto stands in as he looks at ball one here. Back-to-back -back strikeouts in the first right here. Pitcher is set in a tone pound in the zone. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. One and two now as that one's fouled off. One out, nobody on. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Juan Soto to that the plate hurt. now. Looking Don't to get on base there. and keep this first Juan. inning alive. Soto. The pitch. Bounce to the right into the loaded up infield. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. Batting four. The center fielder, Joey Gallo. So that brings up the big bat of Joey Gallo. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. A leap, but he can't bring it back into the park. It's a home run. Batting fifth. So here's the Jose Abreu. Jose Abreu. So take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. Looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. A ball and a strike now to Jose Abreu. Hey, I love that pitch right there. Better execution after just giving up an extra base hit. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Lifted down the line and left. And that's going to land foul. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes. And that will retire the side. Second inning set to go. And into bat next, the left-handed hitting first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Anthony. Now here's the pitch. Second oh. inning begins with a slider that misses here. It's 1-0. Oh. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Center fielder on the run. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. So the next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Yosmani Grandal, as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. Here's the first pitch to him. A bouncer to the left side. Lostella fields it cleanly. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. The so base. striding in, Didi Gregorius. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. Hey, I got to really commend this pitcher right here. Was able to regroup in between innings. Something happened in the dugout because he's on point coming out for the second. Batting nine. The Into game. the box now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. as he rips it on the ground to second. Throw over to Abreu is in time, and with it, the side is retired.
Digging in now for the Brewers, Mike Yastrzemski. Brewer. Set to lead off the whole right half field. of the second. Mike Yastrzemski. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hey. The wind up and the 0 1. Swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first seven. out. The designated hitter. So one away here Ryan. with the bases empty, and that'll Braun. bring in the left fielder, Ryan Braun. Grounder down the line at third, but a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Here it comes. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball, 1 and 1. In there, one and two now. Just hung in there on that one. The one two. No, that's down. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Batting it. The third base. So bases are empty here Tommy. with two gone, and that'll bring Lost in Tommy Lestella to bat next. Swing and a miss on a pitch oh, below man. the knees. One strike. Hey, he's looking to punch out the side right here, and if this guy's going to do him favors and swing outside the zone, that's exactly what's going to happen. A little roller toward the hole. He's got it. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Victor Robles digging in now. Leading off for the Pirates, the center fielder, number 16. Victor first pitch of the at-bat. Robles. And he fouls this one off. Weak grounder down the line at third. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. And here's the left-handed hitting Michael Brantley. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Now here it comes. There's a breaking ball, but it's laid off and doesn't find the zone. Right side. In time to first, and there are two away. So bases are empty here with two gone. And striding into the plate, it'll be Miguel Andujar. First delivery to him on the way. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right, out of play. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fooled with the curveball there, and it's strike two. Anduhar takes the swings from the right-handed batter's box, but he's one of those rare hitters that actually thrives facing same-handed pitching. One of the very best in the game, as a matter of fact, in that type of matchup. Yeah, Matty, he does not leak with that front side. He keeps that shoulder tucked, stays inside the baseball, and it gives him every opportunity to hammer the fastball and stay on that breaking stuff. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Back goes Yastrzemski. He can't get to it. This one's down. Now Here's Bryce Harper now. The right fielder. Right. In Harper. the dirt here. And no advance. It's ball one. The 1 0. He's taken strike one. Quick move here to step off and look the runner back. 
Man at first with two out in a 2-2 ball game. And now he'll step off quickly and look the runner back. The 1-1. One, one. Misses, ball two. He went deep earlier, so that might have been a little bit of a message they were trying to send to get him off the plate. At the very least, they're clearly trying to get him from getting his arms extended again. Count even at two and two. And he may have thought something was on here as he stepped off to look back to first. A runner on first with two away. Hit down the line at first. But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Pulled toward right center field. Yastrzemski's got it for out number three. Next from Milwaukee, Starlin Castro. As we move on to the bottom of inning number three. The second baseman, and Starlin the pitch. Castro. Hit back up the middle. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Now batting. The Trevor stop. Story steps in Trevor. now. Story. And the ball popped foul to the right side out of play. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. And this one's in the dirt. A pause and the 0-2. One ball, two strikes, yeah. Two-two is our score. Leadoff man aboard at first here with nobody out. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Well, he kind of got caught chasing the first two pitches out of the strike zone. But I think he's caught on to their game a little bit right now. Two tough pitches that he took with two strikes, and now the count is two and two. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Now batting. Striding in, JT Realmuto. He looked to bounce back Real after striking Muto. out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. The 0-1. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners locked in, and now he's raising eye levels to, one, to one and two now. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. The one-two. In the dirt here. But it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Runner at first here with one away in a 2-2 ball game. And he is in complete control now. Seven strikeouts as this is swung out and missed for the second out. No left field. So a runner at first with two oh. away. And digging into bat no, next, no. the ever dangerous Juan Soto. From the stretch. This is hit the other way out toward left field. After it is Brantley. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. So next to swing the bat will be Carlos Correa. As we begin the top of the fourth. The shortstop, Carlos Correa. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. The 1 0. Breaks his bat as this one's popped up. And no one will get this one.
Here's Wheeler on one and one. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. A shot to second base and handled for the first down. The first base. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. First offering on its way. Wind up and the 0 1. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. And a good effort on the dive that time, but this will get by him for a base hit. Now batting. And here's the switch hitting catcher, Yasmani Grandal. This is pulled into right. In there, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Up next for the Pirates, the second baseman, Didi. So now to the plate, Didi Gregorius. As he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball, 1-0. and oh. And this winds up inside for a ball, 2-0 and oh now. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Too high. And it's 3-0. and oh. There's ball four. Digging in for his second at-bat, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He got on. Top of one, it was a ground down victim last time. First offering on its way. That was a pretty good fastball after he walked the hitter previous. He was a little angry on that heater. Liner toward right center. And that's in there. Base hit. One run scores. Two runs are in. And he's safe. It's a wild one. And three runs are in to score. Throw won't get him. To the plate now, Victor Robles. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. A 1-1 count to the Pirates' leadoff hitter. Three runs already home here. Lifts it into the air to shallow center. Story ranging into the outfield. He can't get there as it falls in. The left field. Here's Michael Brantley as he looks at a fastball on the inside corner for strike one. One for two in the ball game thus far. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. Five runs, eight hits, and no errors so far for the Pirates. That misses one and two. Hey, textbook waste pitch right there. Does he go elevated fastball again or something slow below the zone? But this will not get out there deep enough as it's run down by the right fielder in the alley for the second out. Now back. Here's Miguel Andohar now. Two men on, two Miguel. away here in the fourth. And Duhar. Here's the first pitch to him. Five runs, eight hits, and no errors so far for the Pirates. Two balls and no strikes to the Bucks DH. What a great opportunity to come through right here. 2-0 count, runners on base. Find something middle of the plate and let it rip. Slow roller down the third baseline. But a foul ball, and it's 2-1 and one now. From the belt, kicks and deals. Not a good spot to be in right now. Pitch has fallen behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. Sharp ground ball to third. There is La Stella. Throw is in time, and they're able to avoid the huge inning here as the side is retired. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Joey Gallo. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. 
but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. No balls in one strike. The windup and the 0-1. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0-2. Man, as a pitcher, you have to love pitching 0-2. Multiple ways, up, down, in and out, throw the breaking ball. A lot of different ways to get guys out. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his the first eighth baseman. punch out of the ball okay. game. I'll pray you. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Jose Abreu is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. Hey, love the confidence in that pitch right there. Going right after one of the better hitters on this team. Not afraid to execute. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. And he punches out another one. Make it nine for the ball game. Stepping into the box, Mike Yastrzemski will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. That just misses off the inside for ball one. Perhaps a little low there. It's 2-0. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first A-B, he went down on strikes. A strike, and it's 2-1. That's a tough pitch for a batter. If you're not expecting it, you'll end up with half a bat after you swing. Took a good cut that time, but comes up empty, two and two. He's one pitch away from striking out the side, but even more than that, to throw a donut up after your offense put up some runs, I can't tell you what that means to the boys in the dugout. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. And that one's taken outside for a ball. They walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got Up themselves the a two-out base runner. The designated it's hitter. Ryan Braun now. Ryan. And at first after the two-out ball. Oh. A ball and no strikes. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. A one one. Strike two, swinging. One and two. I'll tell you, if I'm pitching right now, I'm not throwing anything near the strike zone until these guys... A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. All ready to go in the top of the fifth, and that'll bring forth the veteran out. The right fielder. Right. Harper. Here comes the first pitch. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Ready once again, Carlos Correa. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Correa. First delivery to him on the way. The 1-0. Skied into very shallow right. Yastrzemski will come in a bit and put it away for the second out of the inning. Ah, it's flagged down deep in the hole. The and that'll base. bring Anthony Rizzo to the plate. He's Anthony one for two in the ball game. Rizzo. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And a curveball in for a strike. Pitching a little bit backwards in this situation, I'd expect a hitter to be sitting off speed. Not where you want the changeup, but he gets away with it for a strike. He's been getting lit up all game, and there's a common denominator. He keeps missing right down the middle of the plate. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance, and we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and that'll bring in Tommy Lestella to bat next. 
the third baseman, Tommy. The first pitch Lasella. on its way. No nope. ball and no strikes. Ball one, no strikes. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. So the leadoff man reaches in their half of the fifth. Now back. So Second here's baseman. Starlin Castro. Starlin. As he takes a cold strike Castro. at the knees, it's 0-1. One. one for one after a single his first time up. And this one's in the dirt. We're in the fifth inning here. 5-2 is our score. Ball Tried one. to get him to chase the cutter there. A ball and two strikes. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. That's through for a base hit. He's now two for two in this one. Now batting. Stop. Stepping in now, Trevor, Trevor Story. Story. This will get caught chasing a bad oh, one there at strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Set and the 0 1. And he 
and wastes a fastball high there, one and two. Big spot right here. That's a great pitch to try and see if you could get him to fish outside the zone. He's still in the driver's seat right now, and I'd expect something else to miss off the plate. The second for one. Throw on to first won't be in time, so they just get the one there. Now battle. So one gone in Milwaukee fifth, and that brings up JT Real Muto. Real Muto. As a look, now the pitch. Strike one to start the at-bat. Runners are at the corners with one man out. Cutter low, one and one. In the dirt and block behind the plate. Runners may have thought about it, but they'll stay put, and the count moves to two and one. As a look, now the pitch. Ball three. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit it now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. And there's ball four as this one gets away a bit. So it's bases loaded, one away. Well, and that will bring up the 22. dynamic bat of Juan Ball. Soto. Soto. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Drilled to the left side. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. One run is scored. A tag, and they get him at the plate as one run scores, but not the second. The center fielder, number 13. Here's Joey Gallo now. Joey. As he Gallo. lines it hard to the right side, but out of play. He's one for two in this one. Dirt as it gets away a bit. Runners will stay put. However, the count evens at one. A one one. It's a fastball that misses. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Oh, look at Didi to first. He's out. Yasmani Grandal. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. Grandal. First offering on its way. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that, and this one caught the zone. Hit hard on the ground to the right. Gloved by Castro. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Now Second base. Digging in once again, Didi, Didi Gregorius. Gregorius. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Expect the guy on the mound to keep attacking the zone. He wants a quick inning so he won't be nibbling. Ground ball right side straight into the shift. Story scoops it up. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Now Digging in and looking for more, Vladimir Guerrero Vladimir Jr. Guerrero a hit in two tries Jr. for him so far. On its way is pitch number 75. Curveball just misses apparently. 1 0. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 0. We're starting to see a lot more balls from him now, and that's a direct result of him getting hit around pretty good. He's trying to do something different, and it's resulting in him not tacking the strike zone anymore. 3 0 to him now. And the pitch. Taking all the way, and it's three and one now. Two out, nobody on. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full. Three and two.
Rolled slowly down the third baseline. Throw over to Abreu is in time, and with it, the side is retired. So here's the slugging first baseman, Jose Abreu, now. He struck out Brewer. twice thus far, so we'll the see if he can fare any better here. Jose. Things not looking Abreu. very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this will be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. Two balls and a strike to count. Two and two the count. Now the pitch. Outside and a full count, three and two. What a great battle to start this inning. What a great job by the leadoff hitter. He knows that this pitcher's starting to get up there in pitches. The manager's starting to get restless. Let's see if we can knock him out now and get into that ball. Right so he sets him down right. swinging. Jose yes. Abreu. Right Nick Purdy, a right-handed reliever now, standing 6-3, gets the ball now Number out of the 57. bullpen. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Mike Yastrzemski stands in for the third time now as he takes a look at a ball. It's 1-0. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Brantley is under it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. The Next will be the designated eight. hitter, Ryan designated Braun. Hitter. He went down on Ryan. strikes last time up. Braun. Here's the first pitch to him. Didn't quite catch the zone there. Ball one. Good zip on that one as he just throws it by him for strike one. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Digging in to try it again, Victor Robles, and he'll get us started in what's officially the back. Third of this one, Victor. David Phelps is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt, the first pitch. And a fastball is in there for strike one. Grounded weakly down the line toward third. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. One away here for the Bucks in their half of the seventh. And that brings in the left-handed hitting outfielder, Michael Brantley. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swing and a liner. But right to the second baseman. And that's the second out. To the plate now for Pittsburgh is the DH. Miguel Andujar. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. First pitch on its way. Bases are empty here with two men out. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Two and one. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. 
every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Now here's a check swing, and they appeal down to first. No swing. So that's ball four. So it's a runner at first with two men out. Right. And that'll bring in a dangerous hitter indeed in the form of Bryce Harper. From the belt, the pitch. Way behind that pitch. It's 0-1. Two out with the man at first. And he lays off for ball one. Pulled toward right center field. Center fielder on the run. He's there to track it down, and that'll Ladies end the inning. It's time for the traditional seventh inning stretch. Last half of the seventh here, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Tommy LaStella. Even though man. we're moving into the Tommy. back end of this game, they're only La down by a Stella. couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. Ready with the 1-0. Nope. And that's a great take right there. Backdoor slider just missed the outside corner. This guy must have a really good eye. Most guys swing at that pitch. Two and one to count. Here's the pitch. He'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down. And the throw will be too late, so it's a bunt single to get him started here. Up next to Milwaukee. Here's Starlin Castro. The base. As it's grounded sharply to first. One Cap there. Bro. On to first, and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game as there are quickly two away now. Up next to Milwaukee. So the lineup flips over that's and your digging top. in. Trevor Story. Right, right. He reached on a fielder's choice Story. previously. He's set and the pitch. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. This guy uses that two-seamer to set up his other pitches. Two-seamer in, breaking ball away. Two out, nobody on. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first, and no swing. It's ball two. And the knees for a called strike, and it's back to even at two and two. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Hard hit ball towards the hole. And that gets through, so he'll have his first base hit, make him one for four in the game now. So the bottom of the inning is still alive after the two-out base it. hit. Ketcher, JT. So now to the Real plate, Gito. JT Romuto. Lying towards center field. Robles will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Carlos Correa, he flew out in his last at-bat. Almost, Matty, almost went Carlos. deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard, this A.B. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. On that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. Oh, and it's not often you see a guy like that flail so badly up there, but that was a great pitch for out number one. Anthony. Now to the plate, Anthony Rizzo. He's working on a one for three thus far. Outside with the fastball that's one and oh. One and one to count. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Lifted the other way out to left center. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Now back. So two gone here in the Pittsburgh eight, and up next the switch hitting catcher Yasmani Grandal. First pitch coming here it is. 
Fastball here as you'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Back goes Yastrzemski at the track. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. Here's Didi now Gregorius. The second baseman. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He's working on a one for two game so far. Swung on, and this one's driven in the air as well. To deep right field. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And he is in the second with a two-out double. Now battle. Brent First Suter eight. enters the ball game Blood out of the pen, the looking for the final out mm -hmm. here in the top of inning number eight. At the plate now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Scorey picks it up. And how about that right out of the bullpen? A ground ball on one pitch, and the inning is over. Now at the plate, Juan Soto. Single home run in his last time. The left fielder, Juan Soto. Ready. Here's the first offering. And a good fastball there, but this just misses the zone for ball one. And this is a fastball that's right on the black, but ruled a ball. It's 2 0 now. Well, this is a spot you'd like to be in. 2 0, good hitter. He's going to turn it loose right here. 3 0 to him now. In tight as this pitch misses, and it's a four pitch walk. Now batter. So a runner at first now with nobody Joey. out. And that will bring up Joey Gallo. He's set. Here it comes. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. A ball and a strike. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. On a line, that's a base hit. He'll get it into second. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. Now battle. The first baseman. Jose. Kyle Frick comes on now Ladies in an gentlemen. awfully difficult Correct. situation as there are two on here now with nobody out. Number 30. Kyle. Rick. Into the box, Jose Abreu. Yes, he can't catch up on a fastball at the letters, and it's strike one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. I just couldn't pull that one back in time. It's 0 and 2 now. Crick rarely finds himself in much trouble out of the bullpen, at least in terms of giving up base hits. He's proven to be a tough guy to barrel up. Another 0-2. And he will take strike three called as those runners stay put at second and third. And there's one away now. Number five. So a pivotal moment here and digging in now. Mike Yastrzemski. But a single here could reduce the deficit to only one. High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Second and third here. One man out. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. 
And a fastball swung on and hit to second. Throw will get him for the second out, but meanwhile, the run is in to score from third. In now, now the Brewers DH, Ryan Braun, Ryan. lined out in his last trip, Braun. so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. No balls and a strike to count. And a big swing there by Braun, but he comes up empty. No balls and two strikes. That was an excellent pitch right there. After going soft away, he pounds hard in, and that's a nice pitch. Slider laid off for a ball. And two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. Hit hard on the ground to third. On to first, and that'll do it as they manage to not let this inning get out of hand. Set to start the ninth in this one, and that'll bring up the outfielder Victor Robles. The center fielder, number 15, Victor Robles. Now here it comes. Ninth hey. inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Suter, 30 years of age, he throws a four seam fastball, a changeup, curve, and a slider. Yanked on the ground down the line. Looped over toward first, but an easy play there at first as that becomes the first out of the inning. The left field, number 23. Digging in, Michael, Michael Brantley. Hit Brantley. the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line out. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. Throw on to first takes care of him, and the top of the ninth is proving unfruitful thus far. Now Two quick outs here. Hitter. To the plate now is the designated Andujar. hitter, Miguel Andujar. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Here's a strike with the breaking ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. Grounded back up the middle. But the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. The right field. Next to dig in will be Bryce Harper right. as he's well in front Harper. of the curveball and comes up empty there for strike one. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. And it's one and one. one, and one. Well, late in a game like this, calls that don't go your way can really throw you off when you're on the mound, but you just can't let it happen. His composure is getting a little test right here. The one two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Set for the bottom of the ninth. And standing in is the veteran third baseman. The third baseman, Tommy Rossella.
from the stretch. Hey. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. And he'll lay off the fastball down low. It's two and one now. Here it comes. Two and two. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. The batter number 14. Stepping in, Second Starlin baseman. Castro. He's Starlin. two for three and looking for more here. Castro. First pitch on its way. Count one and oh. The 1 0. Hopped high in the air. Rizzo shading to his right. He's got it, and there are two down now. At the play, Trevor Story. And he needs to make something Trevor. happen. They're down to their final out Story. here in the night. Well behind that fastball. It's a swinging strike. Hey, if you're able to blow a first pitch fastball by a guy, got to believe that pitch is coming again right here. 0 oh 2. The Brewers down to their final strike. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Hey, listen, you don't always want your closer to have to go two innings on a regular basis, but in this game, it was necessary for this one, and he had just enough to get the job done. A 6-4 to four finish in tonight's affair. Pittsburgh took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Zach Gallen pitches well enough to get the W. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Here now is our final line score tonight. For the victorious Pirates, six runs, 11 hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. For the Brewers, four runs on nine hits, no errors. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 12 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at Miller Park, 41,900. The Brewers thank you for attending tonight's ball game and remind you to please drive home safely.